being sus, brains up. Does he know I notice? Does he want some? Call my homie being sus, don't get caught. Tell us, girl, we're just chilling while I taste him. Call my homie. Hello! Welcome to So Rude! We're back with Mocha! Today I'm here with Mocha and the beautiful Ziongo Yorkie. Oh, thank you. Today I'm here with Mocha and the stunning Seb Argo. Hi. Yeah, you have something to say, Mocha. Oh, he's just happy to be with us. Yeah. We've been without him for a week in for a San week. Fran. We had a crazy time in so. San Francisco. But before we get started, <laughs> cheers. Mm-hmm. Ah! Bing. Cheers. What are we drinking today? I am drinking the same as you. It is a daydream. Oh, it's a daydream adaptogen drink, which yes. we need. This after. one's giving blueberry chai, I believe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's giving that. It's she's giving. It's very she's good. She's correct. We were we we got home, landed in maybe twelve last night, twelve like midnight. We look at each other this morning. We're like adaptogens. Yeah, we need the adaptogens. But we'll get into those stories in a little. Oh my god, we have so much to talk about. Started. But I have to get started with a hot topic. Are you ready? Oh, I'm always ready. Okay, for a hot I think it's topic. probably what you were gonna say. <gasps> Taylor canceling shows. Oh, that was my third hot topic. Okay, but it just happened. We it's have to talk about wild. it. I literally, fresh off the tape, very did scary you, stuff. Yeah, did you read why they canceled the shows? Um, I read about it being a threat. Of some yeah, degree. Yeah, so two people got arrested yes. yesterday or something. And three dates got canceled. Yeah, they like two people got arrested because they found out that they were planning a terrorist attack on the Taylor Swift concert in Vienna. So they canceled the three shows. Cause Heavy. They, they, they still think that there's like more people involved in this, which is so scary. Because it's yeah, like, that's at heavy. Taylor Swift concert, you go to have fun. It's an escape. Like... So many people just have had the best times. And then it happened like, with Bad Bunny recently, almost. It did? Well, rem- remember they found things on, like in the location of one of his concerts? Oh, yeah. So, yeah, it's really like concerning because now the artists have to cancel gigs. And it's yeah, because so it's also like for a lot everyone. of places don't have really good security. Like, because like, for example, here in Toronto, there's so many, like we go through like the little security check. But it doesn't feel like it's that secure. No, it's not at all. And like it should be more after this situation, like in America, it's going to it's going to go up a lot. Well, it should because it's like it's happened before. Well, Taylor, with the situation, it's it was caught like way before the event started. No? Well, the event is tomorrow. It was tomorrow. So it can't it got canceled. Like it's the first time Taylor cancels concerts ever. Well, that's like a testament to how she is so serious about security and about her team. I know. Because, like, she caught it. Like, Which it's crazy because, it like, yeah, with Bad Bunny, like, the, the the guns were already on the location. So that's terrifying. And, like, because a lot of people wanted Taylor to speak up on Palestine and everything because it's, like, we would love everyone to be talking about Palestine, pro-Palestine. But I feel like if she talked about Palestine it would come back to hurt like all her fans and like kind of like the concert and everything because there was like a stabbing in a Taylor Swift dance class or something. Like it's anything that's very political or very heated. Yeah. It's going to like... Sh- the yeah, like She has a crowd of 70,000 plus every night. It's like that comes with so much power and you have to be careful. Yeah. Because it's thinking, very... Like, like, it's not like it's the country where people are... Settle like America is very like unsettled right now, and also like Taylor Swift is very ex- extremist in that way. Like like people either love her or just hate her. Like and want like they do like want to find ways to hate. Yeah, yeah. So it's a cycle. I feel like because we're I, not about that. For we're moment, so rude. You get uh, it? If you get it, you get it. For a moment, I was like, yeah, it'd be great if she like spoke up uh, for Palestine. But then I started thinking, like, well, there's so many, like... There's layers. No, there's so many, like, Taylor Swift dance parties. Because, like, people are like, well, in her concert, she can hire, good, like, better security. That's it. But there's, like, dance parties, like, dance classes, soul cycle classes, things like that, that don't have security, that they're Taylor Swift-themed, and that they would, like... I feel like they could be targeted just because... Yeah, and then like, it would just whatever the thing is... Chaos. Whatever huh. the issue is surrounded around... So they're making it about Taylor Swift being the problem. Yeah. And yeah, like people, fans could be in danger. It's like a, when a pride event, you know? Yeah. When there's like, a hate it's, crime. It's related to that. Yeah. So it would get, like, the extremists just go wild. So it's so sad. Um, like, I'm oh. happy they canceled it. 
It's good in the before, way that, like, okay, so maybe now this will promote positive change, you know? Yeah. Like, it happened at a Taylor Swift concert. She's, like, the basic, like, most successful in the industry right now. So if it's happening even at her level, you know what I mean? So like, they can put better security America, and everything. America needs to fix the problem. Well, that's in Vienna. Oh. That's in Europe. Right, right. <laughs> well, <laughs> I feel like it transcends it. around the world. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, the whole world can pay more attention to, like, security and concerts and all those things. And, you like, know, like, so um, legislation against things that are, like, yeah, dangerous. Yeah, guns and everything. Yeah. It's about damn time. It's about time. But also, yeah, I'm glad that they canceled the show. Like if they didn't, if weren't a hundred secure, a hundred percent secure that everything was gonna be okay, because mm-hmm. it could have been so bad. It could have been horrific. And then and I hope all the fans that had like their planes for Vienna, everything for Vienna, they like I hope they're gonna have a great time. Yeah, they're manifesting. They get like free tickets for a next show or something. If you're a Swifty like us, you know that if you got those tickets gonna make the most of it yeah yeah you know <laughs> like you're not but gonna yeah. go to vienna and sit down and cry yeah well like i would cry a little oh i'd cry a lot but <laughs> then then you get drunk or whatever your tea is or adaptogens yeah yeah mm-hmm. so um i'm I happy just, just like everyone to... is ha- safe and thriving like there was no casualties right and they're in the vienna concert and, so to that's good. and to celebrate the safety of everyone yeah tiktok 15 years of kesha's tiktok she's gonna re-record oh my god she is yeah i didn't read the caption i just saw that she was like yeah she's gonna re-record it oh my How god, crazy. kesha's version I know. TikTok kesha's version. oh my god imagine if she dropped it with like missy elliott or something no, I would like an OG. What no, like Elliot? Lil Mama and Avril Lavigne. Oh. The remix. <laughs> I'm like, Missy Elliott, that was so random. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking of um, Avril Lavigne's song. The Little Mama did, so and similar. Avril Lavigne. The remix. remix, yeah. Um, yeah, I'm excited. Did I she think say it could be a thing. it's releasing? Or did she just say, I'm going to re-record it? Oh, uh, I did not get that far. Read the headline. Ah, oh my God, I'm so excited. TikTok, I was so into it. Yeah. But yeah, I'm glad she's recording because we don't want Dr. Luke in it. Other juicy gossip in the celeb world, BTS, BTS Sugar. Do you know who that is? Yeah. Is that how you say it? Sugar, yeah. Okay. Did you know what happened? What happened? They were arrested <gasps> for driving drunk on an electric scooter. Uh- Wait, you can get erected for driving drunk in an electric yeah, scooter? Yeah, hundred percent. Oh my god! Like every time we like, oh, have a little wine, and then and then we're like with our friends, we're like, let's go on the scooter. I'm always like, we can't. Oh, because you signed the little agreement in your phone. <gasps> it's like drinking Where and driving. Was he? I don't know, but apparently he almost like hit someone. So, oh my god! Yeah, allegedly. <gasps> oh my! god. Allegedly or allegedly they well he uh, he was driving wasted oh, allegedly a, <laughs> oh my god sugar sugar <laughs> crazy no that's wild well because those scooters scare me uh, like, that's why i was like it's us coded yeah like dion and i tried driving one together in you in rome <laughs> and i was like dion stop because like when you're like like two of us like you okay see, I we saw were a on couple. brick road yeah going like 30 miles per hour and also because like i saw a cute uh, like a little couple like it was like a a guy and a girl on a on a scooter and they look comfortable like riding around and I was like, okay, maybe we can do it. But like we are like humongous for those little scooters, so it didn't fit like the couple did. <laughs> so we were like falling out of the scooter, we're like, Ugh! I'm like, I'm about to break my head. So I can't imagine that wasted. That's a bad idea. No, yeah, no. You were Don't almost drive, seven, drunk drive. You were almost crying. Yeah, I was like, yeah, stop. And, like, I could feel it. And, <laughs> I, like, he's holding on to me for dear life, and I'm like, I got this, but on the brick road like it was so bumpy in Rome I'm like I don't know if I got this and cause your balance I, is we need not to the best T- okay <laughs> I was watching in Big Brother which we'll talk about but I was watching them do that challenge yesterday you know the yeah. one where they're walking on the beams and I was thoroughly impressed at the speed they were going right because I thought to myself I thought I was good at balance but it must be it must be the bunions because I'm not um I'm kidding about the bunions <laughs> But I'm not. Like, I, I'm not that girl. Like, I think I would suck in that challenge. Like, I think because it would be easier than the one that we did in the climbing. Okay, because that's how I imagine. I'm like, if it's that hard, I suck. No, because that one was a rope. Like, these ones were, like, beams. So you can, like, I feel like it'd be easier to run. But, yeah, I could. I would probably fall a few times. Okay, I get it. I get it. Okay, okay. I feel better about myself. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Um, also, pivoting with the Taylor Swift news, Bon Iver. Bon Iver. Bon Iver. Bon Iver and Kamala. Oh my god! Slay. He's performing for Kamala's what rally? Kamala? Is it Kamala or Kamala? I don't know. I just call them all rallies. I think it's Is Kamala. That what they are? 
I don't know. It's Ka- Kamala, right? Kamala Harris. Yeah. Yes, and I can't believe with Tim Walls, they're slaying. V- yeah, Kamala Harris has a new VP. It's Tim Walls. Tim Walls. With I a Z. I am so into them. Honestly, like, it's hot. I had never heard of him before, and then I heard about him. And it's like, now I'm here to hear. Yeah, now I'm here to hear <laughs> him out. No, like, a lot of the things that I heard were so good. Like, he's done so many good things, and I feel like they're a good team. I'm here for them winning. It's giving going to bring in some good people next. You know, yeah. four years from now, it's going to be like some dazzling thirty-year-olds who are going to be like, yeah, get butter, get better, spread that butter everywhere. And we were on the in this Uber with this yapper. As oh, soon as we got my, in we, the uh, Uber, he starts stream of yapping. consciousness. No relation. Every three words made no sense. And he starts with the next like three words. he starts like, yeah, my dad always told me that. People saw us as dumb Americans, so he told me to go to school. And I was like, oh, yeah, that's like, yeah. We're, we're very, like, agreeable. And then he goes, yeah, but Kamala, Kamala Harris, I'm never voting for her. I would never vote for her. Her laugh. Oh, She's my God. She's so stupid. She should just be a, a comedian or a ch- talk show host with that laugh. You can see her trying not to laugh about it. What are you talking about her laugh for? He's like, She's making us all look stupid. I'm like, girl, you're making yourself look stupid if you're saying that you'd rather vote for Donald Trump. Than Kamala Harris just because she has a funny laugh. Not only making yourself look stupid, like it's like at a human level, we as a people can recognize that if Donald Trump was in office in things like this will year, get things shit. would be very scary for a lot of people. Like scary, like you know, human rights. Yeah. Like, so we're trying to fight for human rights overseas. This is also a thing here. Like you can't just be like playing games at this. If point. you don't like the way the world is right now. It'll get then worse. Vote, bitch. Yeah, we, it's gonna get better because we get to vote. Yeah, and I'm well, just. Well, we don't because we is, can't have that. <laughs> it is such a blessing, though, that like Biden gave over yeah, the presidency candidate out. because honestly, like, yeah, things could really pave out differently now than they were before. So y'all better so, go vote. It's for real. Uh, but yeah, then also I was so, it's go so vote. misogynist how people are and saying, just like spread like, kindness. Like I feel like that's what we need. Like people who, like can get so heated about all this political stuff and it's like at the end of the day we're all people can we just like at a human level get back to trying to make the world better for everyone yeah because like we got some good shit going on in this world like listen to others educate on different points of view yes. unlearn your hateful biases yeah it's like it's so easy to do you just gotta try like if somebody calls you out on something be like willing to learn be willing to do something. and if you feel embarrassed about it like or whatever your own your emotion is like emotions are just a reaction like an instinct yeah. so like walk away if you need a second reflect on that emotion and be like okay when people confront me about new things that I, I don't know about I get flustered in this way this way and I can like counter that in this way instead of getting like responding with agitation yeah and then causing conflict and exactly. that's when people will get defensive and exactly. are like oh I want to go all full like I hate Taylor Swift on your ass it's like but why are you doing that exactly you know Mocha shut up but anyways back to his stream of consciousness uh, oh yeah but I was saying how it's so misogynist when they go like oh her Kamala Harris and her stupid laugh but like who is saying that about all the men who is saying all these things about the men? Never. They never say that. And they have the stupidest laugh. They have, like, Donald Trump is the most st- stupid, disgusting human I've ever seen. Mm-hmm. But nobody's saying anything about that mm-hmm. because he's a man. So either we're going to catch up and say it about the men as well, or we're going to stop treating women like all that we care about for them is how they look physically. Like we were saying this, how it's, like, very misogynistic if Kamala, Kamala was to... Um, choose maybe like for instance a gay vice president the same misogyny that she receives from a large amount of the public the gay candidate would also receive yeah and it would it would in turn like be a detriment to her getting numbers in the polls like i yeah i thought it was something like how i see it's good like i see why they picked like a white straight cis man because he appeals more to like that they're for like the other crowd, which is like hating on Kamala for being a woman POC. So that part, yeah, yeah. Like um, the world I love is how fucked up in that way. But cheers to that. Cheers to our girlies Taylor Swift and Kamala knowing how to play the game. Yeah, because and Beyonce donated to Kamala Harris's thing too. That four million. Wow, we're all just a coconut that fell. She out could the tree. have given more coconut. It's like four million. Come on, I'm kidding. 
No, that's amazing. Um, um, so glad for them. Other T, Timothy Chalamet. Do you like Bob Dylan? He's uh, doing a biopic. Oh, he's doing a biopic. Yeah, um, I'm hoping it'll be good. Cause Can you pass him that toy? He surprised us in Willy Wonka a little bit. Yeah, I was really a fan of Willy Wonka. Like, I didn't watch so. him for a long time. Because I was like, I don't know if I'm into this moment. Because it's not the original story that I uh, And we weren't really like Dune stands. Yeah, we don't June, hate nothing against. Well, I have a lot of things to say about Dune. Oh, so, but don't be hateful. No. After what we've just I, been saying. Like, Fuck Dune. <laughs> no, listen. The only thing I will be hateful towards is straight sometimes because they do piss me off. Bald. I'm kidding. I'm her... saying hi, bald. Like because they're bald in that. And like, yeah. Yeah, it makes me think of Trixie and Katya. In Who? Dune, they're bald. They're bald in Dune. Yeah. It's just one guy that's bald. No, in there's Dune. multiple balds. Really? Yes. Anyways, no, like I will only be actively hateful when it's like straights that are problematic straights. Like not the regular straights that are we love, but like the straights. You know, like straights. I'll be hateful towards that. But other than that, yeah, I feel like it's like it's so pointless to like be hateful towards things that you don't like. It's easy. I'm always like, why am I gonna talk about something I don't like? Like I waste my energy, you know? Yeah, like it's a waste of your time, so bye. Yeah. So why but, I hate but what's not a waste? <laughs> <laughs> no, I know. Trying to stop you from no, saying but, anything bad. I'm like, what's not a waste of time is watching Twister. Uh, no way, but Charlie, no Wonka, I really liked because like the musical I got into. I I feel like he was very cute and charming in that one. Uh, so I'm excited to see him in Bob Dylan. Was Bob Dylan hot? For the record, we did show out. I don't know about Bob Dylan enough, honestly, but we did show out to the first tune for him because we were like. Oh, yeah, it's for our, him and it's Zendaya, our daddy we went to see. But like, I was sad that Zendaya was just like the inserts of in between scenes being like this. Yeah. Honestly, I feel, like, I feel like we have to give the second one a chance, but I know we probably won't. No, like I don't think it's for me. That's okay. It's okay. not a little bit like of self awareness. But but I have a celeb gas slash Olymp gas, Olympic gas. Ooh. Ooh, we haven't talked about. I just wrote Olympics big dick. Right, because well, there was many. No, the one that became famous, infamous, for hitting the pole, hitting the pole with his pole. Honestly, <gasps> oh, wow! Everyone's like, the pole can can he be on this pole? Can he hit my pole? The poles were polling. Where is he from? Was he from France? It's like the voting this year. The poles will be polling. The poles will be polling. Now, was he from France? Uh, there's many. I can't keep track. No, but the one that... I know which one. The one that jumped and hit it. I don't know. You but know I'm, I'm sure you know. I know I saw your, your Instagram and it was uh, saw you were looking into another well, one. Well, because we were figuring The one who out. looks like Omar Apollo. People are saying, hey, this is what Omar Apollo wishes, wishes he, he looked, looked like. like. Not thinks he looks like. Yeah. Well, because we were looking him up together, Dion. That guy? Yeah. The Omar one? Yeah. Really? Yeah. When? With Ela. Oh, I don't remember. We were, we've been discussing many Olympic gods many. plenty of times. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, there's just like everywhere you turn, there's another one. Yeah. And then you look at it's like there's 14,000 staying in the village. That's crazy. Yeah. Like, I thought it was like ooh. maybe 2,000, 14,000. Yeah, there's a lot of. How many heats are athletes. there in the. How many heats are they doing in, <laughs> in the pool? I thought it was like eight heats of maybe. Eight people, that's 69 people, not fucking 10,000. No, I don't know. But then also, because like, I saw somewhere that it's there's 197 LGBT athletes, out LGBT athletes in the Olympics, but 170 are lesbians. And that's why people are so bothered. They're like trying to find any way to, to like shit on the Olympics. And it's like, you're just bothered that the Olympics are being inclusive. Yeah. And it's like, because it's like, there's, Definitely way more than that, but they don't feel comfortable coming out because of homophobic, transphobic people. Yeah, like all over. Like they were, they ganged up. There's this what they ganged up like together. Like who? The homophobic and transphobes. Okay, online Be- or in online, person? Online. Okay. I don't think they have what it takes to gang up in person. Carry on. But they like there was the. So there was this fight, a boxer fight in the fem- in the women category, and this woman wins because she's been training her whole life. And then people are like, "That's a man! That's a man!" But they have no, they have not looked into it. They have no proof or anything, and they're just like they made this whole thing. Everybody started believing it. Like J.K. Rowling believed it. She's a dumbass. 
Logan or Jake Paul, one of the Pauls, not RuPaul. Why are you speaking of all the Voldemorts? We don't say their names. I know. They, he, they believed it, too, and they were, like, tweeting about it. And it's like, y'all, at least do five minutes of research, and you can see that she's not trans. And they were like, why are they putting a man fighting with a woman? Blah, blah, blah. It's like, you're, like, putting are you bothered this about dark in the first place on, like, a woman's a woman winning? Misogyny. A misogyny at once and, again. Oh, like, honey. where's the emotional intelligence in oh, these souls? Know, these baby, poor little souls. That. I can't. And honestly, I'm thinking maybe his poll, it was, it was so massive. Oh, no, the poll. Yeah, it was engorged, mm-hmm. you know. With, it was like, full. happiness. And I think oh, that's think because it was... it was in the river and the bacteria gave him some sort of infection that made it really swole. Oh, okay. So you don't think he was... Hardalopolis. Hung or hard? One of the above. Do you think he was a... I don't think he was... Do you think he was grown already? I think think he's he's a shower. shower. I think he's a shower. I think he's definitely a shower. And then... Because apparently he got offered... (laughs) He showed. A large sum of money by a... For OnlyFans? Oh, was it OnlyFans? No, no, I'm I'm guessing. Yeah, like a corn company. Well, I'm sure because they probably want not pay like... Everyone. I'm guessing they would pay like two mil. I think we all want to see it. I mean, you, yeah. And you. Uh, if that's something he wants, yeah. But I'm not oh, like, yeah, out here yeah, like, trying to force anyone to no, do no. OnlyFans. Like, if he wants to. Then, yeah. Then, yeah. You're welcome. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> but if he doesn't want to, then that's fine, too. It's, it's fine. That's and fine and if you want to come, on the come podcast, over here. We can do an exclusive we can check, interview. We can check on that, that swole member of yours. And see if indeed the France River did affect it. Affect it. it. Yeah, y'all, because they still, the swimmers swam. They swam. <laughs> they swam. No, it's so fucked up that that happened. They swam in Because you think about when we river. go in the fucking lake here and it's E. coli and we don't even want to put our, our head yeah, on there. And Imagine they had to. when you swim in the water here, like doing like 10 laps, how much water you drink accidentally. And they were doing that for miles. Yeah, like they swam in the Seine River and apparently it was cleaned up. But as soon as they got out of the water, they were all puking up. Not clean. Not clean enough. I'm like, I would sue someone. Who oh, 100%. Would sue? Well, yeah, because you're going to be in the hospital for a month. Because I don't get, like, I get how it was cute camp. Like, oh, we're going to have the swimming contest in the Sand River. I thought it would be a fucking, like... Um, An inflatable pool in no, the river. No, no, no. You know the long boats where they all, like, race? Kayaks. Yeah, like, they should do that, not swimming. What the fuck swimming? Because, like, I feel like... Swimming you can do indoors where it's yeah. clear water. But that's what we want. Yeah, the whole thing of, like, I would not be able to, like, get in a little Speedo in the Sand River. Ew, what the fuck? Oh, not for me. Abso- like, they could have gone under the current. It's bad. Oh, oh, my God, yeah, is there currents? All I know is that, like, it's wild because in the side where it's clear, we can see the bulge in the water. So, like, why would you... Want to have it you? in a dirty water? I don't know. I feel like we... Have we talked about <laughs> the Sus Olympics, like, three weeks in a row? Yeah. But well, that's okay. It's the, it keeps going, honey. And also, we are known as the Olympic gay couple. And and it's it's going to manifest into something that we've talked about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So just to keep your eyes peeled. Keep an eye out. Olympics 2028. For the South Olympics. They're going to eight. <laughs> They're 2028. Oh, wow. So did you want to touch on our lovely San Fran extravaganza? Yes. Because I would like to get into it. First of all, Irish coffee. Uh, no, first of all, we're flying to San Francisco. Oh, okay, okay. We're like we're not even there yet. No, we're flying there. We're flying Porter Airlines, which I loved. Have you flown Porter Airlines before? Well, we were in the front row. We got lucky with an upgrade. So no, it's not upgrade because the whole plane is like that. Is the whole plane is just two seats in the all the rows? There's no like first class. It's just like everyone's treated the same like first Wait, class. Wait, so you have space every, everywhere? I th- like I think we had extra leg room because we were like the front row, but right. like I don't know if the I think the the room in the back is the same. I didn't see it. <laughs> I'm kidding. No. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. If it's not, then it would be two. Who cares if it's two or three people in a row? If, well, it's, way, if it's squished, it's squished. I don't care, bitch. No, but it's way better if it's two people than three squished. Okay, fair. Fair, because you can just like... If it's two people, you give a hand job. No one knows. Yeah, exactly. Three people. It's okay. <laughs> it's a show. Awkward. It's a show. No, but I thought it was really good. That was a but joke. But then, like, I'm just We're chilling. We're so rude here, people. I'm just chilling. I get up to go use the bathroom. 
And then I sit back down and I'm like arranging myself. And the guy behind me goes, can you stop moving around so much? Oh moving my God. Around like crazy? I forgot this guy. And I'm like, this guy did not just talk to me like that. And I go, <laughs> and his, his wife goes, oh, no sorry, way. Cause I go, really need- no, cause I go, <laughs> what? And he goes, oh, gee, you're just moving so much. I'm like, I'm not, but okay. <laughs> and I turn around and I'm laughing. And the wife goes, sorry, it's just because he has a drink. I'm like, what? It's my seat. And then because when they stand up to get to use the bathroom, they're like pulling my chair and everything. And I didn't say anything. But I'm like, girl, the nerve you have. It was so much nerve. Like you look at me, you're like, am I doing something wrong? I'm like, it's your seat. It was like, was that moving too much or what? Crazy. And, and then like, he gets out, has the audacity, we're at the conveyor belt for waiting for the luggage, and it's taking a long time, and we have to like go all the way to the other side of the airport to go to that part. So everyone on our plane was like kind of confused about if it was even our spot, because it was taking so long. And he looks at us and goes, uh, is it here? Like, is it coming? Are you guys waiting for it? And we're like, what does it fucking look like? Yeah, and we're like, yeah, we just asked the lady, she told us it's here. Like, you and just screamed like, at him. He's like, oh, okay, you asked. And I'm like, yeah. He's like, okay, for real, you asked? You're sure? I'm like, yes, sir. Like, I am just I an assistant yeah. at the I airport? I would sitting here waiting for nothing if I didn't ask 30 times. I hate so. when people get all antsy in the airports. Yeah, it's like, girl, like, it's going to come. If it doesn't come, you'll figure it out. But, like, like you have to, like, there's nothing you can do. Just wait. Yeah, that's it. Like, shut your mouth. Because he was also like, that's when, a big one. When we wait landed, and shut your mouth. when we landed, he literally got up immediately and was trying to like cut us off. I'm like, girl, we're behind. Oh, I will you. fully like stand up and be like, I believe my bro was in front of yours. Yeah, because I like I hate when people stand up like as soon as the plane lands. It's like just wait until they open the door. Especially because like you know I'm gonna have to stand up and open yeah. the overhead luggage and get my shit. Yeah. So if you're in my way when I get my shit, I'm gonna hit your fucking yeah, head. Yeah, like y'all yeah, wait. Like especially like even if, like because when we've been sitting like way in the back, it's like okay, I won't get up until like half of the plane is already out because that's when it starts moving. Mm. But it's like people like all the way in the back that they stand up. It's like what is the point? Yeah, you're not getting anywhere until all those yeah, other people move. No, no, no. Like, put pick up a book, put on your tablet. Shit. You've already been sitting for five hours. You can sit for twenty more minutes. Exactly that part. But we landed, and our bestie came and picked us up with her mom. Oh my god, it was the we best. Loved them. Literally, just such a great week. We needed it. Yeah, and like we got out of the airport, and we're like, oh my god, Ela told us it's gonna be really cold in San Francisco. Let's see how cold it is. I packed pretty much two pairs of pants. I was not ready. Yeah, we got out, and we're like, ah, this is not cold at all. But that's what we thought. We thought wrong. It was okay. So there's a <laughs> fog that comes in called Carl. Carl. Carl the fog is what we call Carl, and Carl is cold as fuck. Yeah, it got freezing. You're, you're like, okay, oh my god, cute sunny day, but like twenty degrees Celsius, so not like crazy hot compared to Canada. But like we're standing there, cute. Literally in minutes, it's like you're seeing snowfall come in. Yeah, but it's, it's like fog. a windstorm. It's a fog, and then you're in Twister the movie, and you're like not wearing winter clothes, so you're like. <gasps> <laughs> oh my God, it got so cold. I was amazed days. you didn't buy a hoodie. Yeah, well, I'm in this new era where I don't buy things unless it's like completely convinces me, you know. Yeah, and you're very bad with hoodies, and when I you travel, it's just it adds up. Yeah, like I have a lot we of. Come home, we're like, already. so we have seven storage boxes of uh, hoodies. Yeah, I have a lot of hoodies, and like I have my favorites. Like I know what fit I like, what like colors and everything. So it's like unless it's giving that, I won't buy. I was on the other end where I only brought one hoodie for the trip and I wore it even on the plane ride home. Yeah. And it well, was like too. three, maybe three days I wore it in, in between those, oh, those yeah. six days. So it had like stains, the, stains, the grease, you know, the grease stains. Yeah. Bad. Yeah. <laughs> you could not care less about the hoodie. Okay. No, We're I moving on. Imita- I was so imitating. the Irish coffee. I was, wait, I was imitating that girl. Yeah, I did it myself. Yeah, you know which one? mm -hmm, Yeah, the Irish coffee of it all. No, wait, I wasn't. It's what I'm going to talk about now. Girl. Cause I, wait, you no, know the girl. No, I want to talk about my Irish coffee. Yeah, but you know the girl that did that eyelash, eyeliner? That's just famous. She came out as lesbian recently. Okay. What about her? I'm imitating her. Oh, I don't oh. know her. But you know her because you're like, I feel you like you were like, giving oh, a good imitation of something. You were like, oh, did you hear blah, blah, blah as a lesbian? And I was like, oh, yeah. Oh. 
I still and don't she, know the name. She has a meme that goes, yeah, I did it myself. Yeah, she's like big on TikTok. Okay. She's like a socialite. I don't know what she does. Okay, Julia Fox. Sh- yes! Julia Fox? Something like that. Something Fox, I think. Julia Fox. Julia Fox. No? I don't know if it's Julia Fox. No? No. Why? I don't... Is it Julia Fox a singer? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, but, it's so bad, but you know, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I wasn't, I wasn't rushing. I'm you. with I you now. Just, I was just imitating her, like, yeah, I did it myself. I did but it you myself. Thought, you thought I wasn't paying attention. Yeah, the Irish coffee of it all. But yeah, the Irish coffee. <laughs> so it's with whiskey, which we hate. Yeah, we no. Like, okay, we're not drinkers. Well, okay, I'm not a drinker anymore. But, but um, <laughs> starting. Today. today. <laughs> no, we, we went to San Fran and I knew I would be drinking uh, because yeah. we, uh, I have a history of um, drinking when I well, no, go to certain three, places. When the three of us, yeah, unite, like that's what I say. Eli, you and I are together. It's always at Playlist or VidCon and we always drink. Yeah. So it's it's a tradition. It's a tradition. And we knew the and tradition would continue. And we always get wild. <laughs> so yeah, we drank three days in a row. <laughs> <laughs> but the, fir- but the like, Irish coffee of it yeah, all the first is what I'm time trying they, to say. They took us to this coffee shop. So well, because I'm not a drinker bar. anymore, I can't do what I used to. I can't do the vodkas. I can't do the, I can't even do Jaeger now. Like it all just triggers my system. Only thing I can do is red wine. So when we go in and we're like Irish coffee of it all, I'm like, <laughs> wait a minute, am I an Irish coffee girl? Let's see. And bitch, we saw. We saw. We well, we we were at this. I had six by the end of the trip. They were really good. Mm-hmm. We were at this bar kind of place called Buena Vista, which was so aesthetically cute. So cute. It's on the coast. So you look across the um, ocean or whatever it is, and it's Alcatraz. I'm in Alcatraz. So that was really cool. Um, bum, Alcatraz bum, is like an old prison, blah, blah, blah. But So we get there, and it was like, we'll have three Irish coffees. And I'm like, what is this? I know. So it's whiskey uh, Whiskey, and coffee, hot coffee, cream. and cream, whipped cream. And Seb goes, can I have uh, oh, just like a it. whole cup of cream? I tried it first, and it's like because the hotness of the coffee and the Irish and the whiskey. I was like, I'm not gonna like it burns. But I I'm live. not gonna finish this because I feel like the flavors go together so well, and I hate whiskey. It goes well so together when it's cold. I love like just when it's really warm for me. I wanted to yak, but then I was like, I'm gonna need another cup cold. of cream. Cold, shut up! You never mentioned that. We should have tried it with ice. No, that's why I put a lot of cream in mine because it made it so cold. Yeah, so I did it was like that. Like, it was like a little milkshake vibes. And that was delicious. And I was like shamelessly asking for more and more cream. I was like, shameless. Just put it in my mouth. The it's like, bartender the first day was like, yeah, totally. And then there was another bartender the first day and he's like, yeah, totally. Then we go back the next day and the girl's like, if you guys ask for cream one more fucking well, time. Well, no, because she was waiting for her lunch break. She was really hungry. No, I'm not saying anything about that. I'm just saying it's funny how, like, she was like, why do you need so much goddamn cream? I know, and it's like, mind your business, honey. Mm-hmm. Mind your business. Exactly. Like, I just need my cream. I'm not going to drink something if I don't like it. So I'm gonna... And they weren't cheap. Yeah. Three of those was $55. Oh, really? Yeah. It's like crazy. Oh, my God. But they do get you wild. Yeah. So the sec- third day we were there, I chugged back three of them, and I was like, whoa. We sat up, and my legs have never felt like that. Funky. No, it was so weird. They felt like heavy, but... Creamy. Creamy. Heavy cream. And a bit crispy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, so that's about the Irish coffee. Carmel was great. And then after the Irish coffees, we get to Ela's place. And we get there, and there's a... Uh, in the lobby of her apartment building, there's a little blue desk and a coffee table and a bag of trash that someone left there. And we're like, oh, that's cute. Like, is someone giving it away or something? And he like goes... Oh yeah, this happens all the time. Like people give away their furniture and everything, and then we're walking by and she's like, "Well, actually, this is really cute. We might, we should bring it upstairs." And we're like, "Yeah, like these are like nice furniture." So we move the trash bag away from it, and we're like, "Okay, let's bring it upstairs." Mm Hmm. It was fucking crazy. I did not expect it to be such a fucking thing, and it was probably the funniest thing I've ever experienced in my life. I know. So the blue desk of it all. Oh my god, I can't. So we brought it upstairs. We're setting up the whole thing. We're like, oh, this looks so cute. Like, yeah. 
put the desk over here. What we put the table here. Oh yeah, I'm okay, like moving we, in on it. Yeah, we're like maybe we should move like a little TV on top of this one. And we did. And like we, <laughs> we watched we watched the whole um, room. Pen Fifteen on the on the de- on the table. Yeah, and, and we then were... I put like our towels and our makeup <laughs> and our shavers and everything on the other one. Like literally, it was a part of the house. We made the furniture our home. <laughs> yeah, we did, and and I was um actually kind of like tragic when it when when it, what happened happened because i felt like like uh like i needed it back in my life yeah so then <laughs> the next morning we're like okay let's go out for breakfast we're heading downstairs and we hear like someone taping things to the wall like aggressively and we're like what's going on and then we go down to the lobby and there's like yellow signs everywhere that says if you see a blue no handwritten yeah there's a blue desk and circular glass table they were not supposed to be taken. I was waiting because I was moving out tomorrow, yesterday. So I was waiting for my truck to come. Please return to this number. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> but they're taped everywhere. And we're like... Oh. Like Ela's face, she turns around and goes deadpan to us. And looks back <laughs> at the sign. We creep outside of the building. And once we're like far enough where the girl can't hear us, we just burst out laughing. We're like, wait, what the fuck Cause- is happening right now? <laughs> Like, how is this actually real? Because <laughs> <laughs> also it's like, why would you leave it downstairs? And okay, so we, we walked up, we saw it, and we didn't like go, ooh, yeah, this is free stuff. We were like, wait, is it? And then we went upstairs, we came back like 50 minutes later, yeah. and got them. Yeah, like, we, it was so, like 30 minutes later. And like, the girl admitted that she left them out there for hours. And there was like trash next to it, there was paint buckets on top of it. Like, like trash with like Pepsi, Cheezos. Yeah, like, everything. there was like empty paint po- buckets on top of it, so it was like... And the best like thing was is, trash. there was no sign. So you go from leaving no sign... Yeah. ...to four <laughs> bright yellow signs with black Sharpie <laughs> written out... With every de- like, I was loading my car, and I was waiting last night for these. Like, so it's like, this is your it problem. Happen easier if you wrote in that same paper with that same paint. Not Don't touch. free stuff. Do not touch. Or coming back in five minutes. Like I need to know. Did she? Did she go to the store by the Bristol board and I know, the sharpies? Right? Like, <laughs> and also, yes. Yeah, like, why were you live it like right there? Like, couldn't you have left it anywhere else? That didn't seem like it was gonna be free. Then when she finds it, she pushes the envelope and puts another sign on the door. Yeah, like she even went to our friend's that's apartment. The, that's like that's she the found crazy out part. That that. And then like she calls and she's like, oh, yeah, yeah, no worries. Sorry, like it was a, mis- a misunderstanding. Like we'll bring it back. And then we brought it back and we left a note saying like, <laughs> who is it? Like we're like, do not touch. It's for blah, blah, blah. She's showing how that's signage you're works. supposed to do. <laughs> we taught the girls something. Because they do that everywhere. Like in Toronto, like they leave things out like for you to take like everywhere. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, Ela was going on about how, oh, San Fran, everyone does this all the time. This is great. Lucky me. I've got yeah. a free blue desk. And we're like, it's such good quality. And oh my God, they taped up the drawers for you. That's so sweet. And so now we have to do a GoFundMe to get a blue desk. I think, okay, our move should have been, like, we messaged back when the girl confronted Ela and be like, hi, so we actually, like, have a, um, I don't know, a niece who's gotten really close to the desk. She's already she been in her room. Desk. Could we Could we take it from you for $50? Yeah, she would have been like, okay, okay sure. Okay, I'm moving. Like, yeah, it's, I'll take the cash. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, it's a sensible thing to do. So I think that we kind of missed a moment there. We did, but we'll find a blue... When, a, not, when one blue desk goes, another blue desk appears. Opens, and oh my God, uh, next time it'll have a $100 bill in it. Yeah, exactly. One time we went to a thrift store, actually. Do you remember that? <gasps> yeah. And we opened it, and we, we were found op- money. Yeah, always open the drawers, check the pockets, everything. You would, if you're not buying it, <gasps> check yes, it. Yes, Because we didn't buy that thing. We were opening the drawers, and I found $20 cash. Well, it could also be something that's like a sign of, yeah, of something yeah, for your yeah. life. Because we went to a thrift store in San Fran, and I'm like looking through these vests, and there was like these like almost like zookeeper looking vests. Oh yeah. And remember, I opened it and it had a card that was a publishing business for a book. Oh thing. my god! Yeah, we have to reach out to them for our book. So cute. Exciting, exciting, exciting. Also, what else did you like about San Francisco? 
Um, I just love the whole vibe, honestly. Yeah, we went to Carmel. Carmel was really cute. Oh, Carmel. Yeah, Carmel was really cute. I love Carmel. I actually think it was something I wanted to talk about. Yeah, then you can talk about it now, bitch. It's really we were good. We're going in chronological order. It's really so, good. So, if you have yeah. waited until it was hinted at, then yeah. you could have started talking about Carmel. Okay. So, the 17-mile view I'm going to be is... looking for a new host soon. The alien movie with the hosts and the... No, I know a host out. for the Cell Root podcast. Well, the 17-mile view could help you out with that because the coastline was just darling. I said host, not coast. Coastline. A co-host. A coastline. Coast line. <laughs> no, yeah, we did the 17... What was it called? 17-mile 17 17 mile long, long. It's like the view of the coastline. Yeah. So there's 17 stops. Which I didn't know what's a mile. So a mile is not very long. We run about five miles. We run around... <laughs> Yeah, we run like five miles. Okay. Okay, so 17 of those. Yes. Okay, it was sickening. I loved... So really cool because there was the sea lions all over the giant rocks and the view. I know, which we were wondering, how do the sea lions Get up climb? there. Yeah, like, because there was okay, like a big I was, I wrote rock. that down, but wasn't there another animal we were thinking of as well? We like started talking about how another animal gets up on something as well. The sea lions on the... On the, on the boards rock. in the pier. Okay. Oh, yes. Because, like, yes. yeah, in San Francisco, there's this pier with, like, wooden boards. And then, like, sea lions just, like, are there chilling all the time. But the other we're talking, like, how do they jump on it? Like, how do they get on it? Yeah, like, okay, so do they, because they're great swimmers, do they, like, launch themselves up? Like, but they're really heavy. So, like, how but do maybe they, they go, jump? Whoop! Yeah, like, cut like dogs. That, like, hot dogs. Like, that's the only way. It makes no sense because they don't have arms. Like, they're like this. It makes no sense aerodynamically. Yeah, aer- it's like a bee. They're yeah. not supposed to fly. Sea lions are not supposed to jump, but they jump. There was <sighs> this like giant rock too, and it was full of sea lions like from top to bottom. And I'm like, how are they getting up and down? It was wild. Like at the very top of a picture, like the iceberg that hit the Titanic, All they full of somehow sea lions. climbed to the top of that. I thought they would just like be at the bottom where it's flat. And then, like, how do they I get so down confused. from there? Because it's like, do they have to, like, excuse me, excuse no, me? No, like, or, I like, fear they roll. Right. And then somebody falls and they all fall. And they, are, they, are they super, like, protective? Like, like if they hit a rock, are they going to be fine because they're so squishy? I f- yeah, right. They look squishy, but are they squishy? Are I feel they? like sea lions aren't telling us something. And I needed to talk about the smell because I didn't think about the fact that they're literally, like, it blew my mind the other day that all underwater creatures are, like, swimming moving living coral reefs you know so a coral reef is like all smelly and you don't want to touch it because it's going to give you fucking if you get cut by it, you have to go and get a needle in time shit. but yeah so uh, like the sea lion skin is like the same vibe oh is you it? could see like all the like ocean like stuff on the skin really yeah where did you see that i know it really grossed me out where did you see that? Not like you can't see a coral reef on a sea yeah, like lion. the like the skin was like green and like it looked like a coral reef vibes. It looked like now underwater. You reading sea lion skin. <laughs> no, Jesus I, Christ! That what you wanted to have a skin night, night skin I night just, skin. I just thought nighttime routine <laughs> skincare regimen. I just thought like when you get from the beach, you know how you go home, you're like, I need a shower, I stink. They they live like that every day. Yeah, it's crazy. Oh, do you want them to shower or what? <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but they're so cute. You're like Tucker smells and Big Brother. I'm like the sea lion smells. Because ah! <laughs> when I we got out of the car and the Tucker wind came, smells. it was crazy. Yeah, okay. You didn't allegedly. Y- no, I didn't say that. <laughs> yes, you did. <laughs> I what I said was that he reminds me of like me and Jim Carrey vibes. Oh, yeah, I can see it. Yeah, just the mannerisms. But the- he's straight, so I get what you're saying. Yeah, like with <laughs> <laughs> no, the sea lions were so cute. Yeah, and I feel like when they're swimming, they're like they look like little dogs. They're like, arf, arf. I know they are. They actually bark. Did you hear them? They do. They're going. Oh, they're going oh, 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 oh yeah, that's better. R R R. Second. A little flat. Okay. R R. <laughs> no, that's more of a dog. Okay, wait. So I also have to talk about the breakfast burritos. Oh my god! So food in San Fran, it's so good. San Francisco. I have to give food. it way better than Toronto. Yeah, for sure. Oh, we went to this Mexican place too. With the with the with the empanadas. Like, there was so many. No, yeah. Well, yeah. We I think we had Mexican to, like four times. Yeah. So the Mexican with the tacos and the birria. So it makes sense that we loved it because we love Mexico food. Yeah, and the queso fundido. Oh, oh my god! Oh, so good. 
And he had a spicy as margarita that I, you, I dare on. say, I. I. <laughs> Ay, que rico. <laughs> Lo, y la, that's spicy Wait a margarita. minute. But it was so fucking Wait a spicy. minute. Wait a minute. What? People are going to replay that. that. That was hot. Okay, carry on. <laughs> Thank you. We, I had a regular margarita. Do you okay. have a margarita there? I did have one. Not there. I, I don't know. At one place I did. It was good. Oh, in the first the, place. The Yeah, the it was a passion Bo- fruit. Boudin. Oh, no. Oh, that was a sake margarita. Okay, yeah, that one was very good. That was good. And that was at the Burm, Burma Burmese, place? Burma, yeah. Burma? Burmese. Burma. Bur- Burmese. Burmese. So good. So good. Because we've been to Thailand recently, and it was similar taste, but it was cool how the ingredients, like the way they cooked it was Buried, different. Buried, yeah. So the tea leaf salad was amazing. So good, because I wasn't guys, that hungry that day, and it's I started amazing. with that, and I was like, mm-hmm. delicious. Like, it's like light. But, you know, it's got good protein uh, like the, and fiber. The peanuts are good for you. You crush up the tea leaves and you essentially, like, spritz on some lemon. You know how to cook it, bitch. Yeah, you do. <laughs> no, you know, you know, like, the things that you use to mash up avocados, the rock ones? Yeah. You get that. You crush up the tea leaves. You add your spices. You add your flax seeds or whatever. <laughs> you get your lemon. You put it in there with some nuts and some lettuce. Some, maybe some... They didn't have lettuce. Like a gallo. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to learn how to make it. Yeah, uh, I'm, I'm interested. But yeah, no, like all the restaurants we went to were so good. Which we were excited because we were like... Oh, At the Pink Pony Club and it was like crazy. Pink Pony Club. Oh, close because close you didn't... This has been going on the whole time. Because you didn't close that properly. The whole time. <laughs> well, <laughs> that's better. It's uh, <laughs> awful. No, like we were excited because like Dion and I are foodies. And then we know Elif Foodies really with too. a capital like squared. Yeah, Foodies like, squared. Whenever we were traveling for the honeymoon, Deanna and I were like, okay, what are we eating now? What, what are, are we eating, eating now? now? What are we what eating, are we eating now? now? Especially when you're not drinking, I feel like it's like, really, what are we eating now? Yeah. But even when you're drinking, you're like, what, what are, we, are eating we eating now? now? Well, especially uh, after the brush and we're like, what, what are, are we eating, eating now? now that that everything's closed. But then Ela took us to all the to all the good places. We were like, Ela treated us good, and Ela lives in the vicinity of amazing things. Like I was yeah. running, and I, I don't know if it's all of San Fran like that, but like you go one block and there's everything you need. Yeah, there's like five coffee shops, grocery five shop, Mexican everything, food yeah. shops, five grocery shops. A hot that downtown- ass fireplace, fireman Holy station. Shit. I'm so glad you brought it up. Ring the bells. We found our first title. Hot. <laughs> Firefighter. Fire, we've been searching for years. For years. Hot and he was six, five, Ooh. blonde, rips, big everything. Arms, beautiful face. Big boobs, skinny waist. And there was like 20 of them. Like there was like another like silver fox daddy. And it looked like they could take you around town and show yeah. you how to pick out a, a couple fire. Of and I was like, <gasps> Wow. Because it's like hose me down for you. Yeah. Daddy. I'm a house. Use me to house. And then down. The, the last day said you weren't feeling that well. And I went back and I didn't tell you. To the gym. Maybe I did tell you. But I went and I was running back. Because on the way there, I didn't see it. I don't, I guess they weren't working yet. And then I go back. And so it's basically like a very thin building that they practice their drills on, which is so attractive. Because they're not only like, at the truck driving by. They're putting they're not their lives in a building. at risk. But yeah, they're not in an office building working. No, no, no. They're putting their they're lives putting their life at, at risk. risk. Live. It's like for an escape us. room. Yeah. And you're so I'm running by in the sun and I'm without Seb this time and I'm looking for the daddy that we saw. And I'm like, he's nowhere, he's nowhere, he's nowhere. And I see like maybe four or five like, you know, like silver fox daddies. And they were surrounded by maybe like fifteen other guys. And so I'm looking at like twenty of them, thinking about, you're you know, like, where is he? Where yeah. Is he? Thinking about like He's going to appear and he's going to tell me to go join them for like, you know, some very uh, intense penetration or something. Like, how am I going to text Seb? Uh, yeah, that how am I going to tell Seb for the country? To, to, <laughs> to, how am I going to tell Seb to come here quick before it's on my chest? Uh, I sacrifice my pussy. <laughs> and then immediately I hear, there. And I'm like, what? And I turn and there's these maybe like another 15 guys and he's pointing at me going, look right there. And I'm like, oh my God, is, he totally what saw me. What did he say before them. that? I and I, th- I think he called something out, like probably like, you know, <laughs> but I was like, he saw me checking them all out. Oh my God. Because I was running fast. She and got then I, I even I even like slowed down a bit. <sighs> And I was like... Because you're not discreet at all. No. I'm like, what? Well, I mean, how am I supposed to be discreet when there's 20 of them and they all look beautiful? Um, You can still be discreet. But maybe no. you, don't have, you don't want to. Ah! 
Well, all I was thinking was like Seb's one block away. Like it, I would make the run. Oh, yeah, exactly. Like it doesn't take more than a call. Yeah. So I'm like this. Hurry, Seb! <laughs> it's already started. <laughs> No, yeah, it was very exciting discovery. Yeah, because we've never. I mean, I just feel like now we have to go back, and we have to get to know them. Yeah, we have to <laughs> classify. Do you okay? If you were to actually like, because the okay, the gate was like open, and they're in this parking lot in front of the practice building. So if you were to like just walk in, you know, and be yeah. like, oh my god, I'm lost. Oh my god, wait, what? I turned in here. I was like on my phone. Ha, bye guys. And then you look and go, wait, oh my. Oh. What do you want me to suck your dick? Do do you think they would? Do you think anyone would be like, yeah, let's go? Um, what are the percent chances? I don't know. You like, know how the sim? You know this? There's the Sims thing where you're saying how it should show on their head a little diamond of their sexuality, or like their interests yeah. or their fucking pronouns, anything. Same thing with this. Yeah, I feel like it should be a thing. Like it should say, but willing willing to, to be gay. Well. <laughs> In this, in this moment. <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't know if they would do it as a group setting. Like, maybe, like, if you go up to one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In particular, you're like, oh, should we? He'd be like, oh, yeah, of course. But not the whole group. But you can't. Because in that situation, how are you going to walk up to one and without the other ones being like, who is this fag? Well, I don't think <laughs> you would do it in front of everyone else either way so so there's no way to seize this opportunity is what i'm hearing no, like the way we could have seized it when we saw a hot one would be like oh my god help help and then they all come over and you're like oh no we just need one person you and then he comes over and then you're like or yeah oh my god help help fire fire and then they run over and you go this bus is hot <laughs> for one of you <laughs> well i'm sure we can find a way to get him on the podcast to live and let, the let hot, live. Let fire, firefighter. To bust down our doors and show us how to put out that smoke. Because I've always wanted to have a firefighter as a guest too, to just like get more insight on the industry. So right. I think we have to. We owe it to our so rudies. I think so. And like afterwards, we suck the nuts. Yeah, but that won't be for so rudies. It's just so rude. <laughs> <laughs> oh, things got extremely rude. I'm just, I'm just half the time. I'm just saying random shit to be funny, but also. Could be a good time. <laughs> <laughs> uh, thank y'all for joining us on this episode of So, so Rude. rude. Uh, Shout out to our demonetized besties over on Patreon.com slash Sebastian. We, we can see all four seasons best. of our podcast, video, and audio. Shout out to the Rainbow Clown besties. Y'all are really and clowning all the time. You're thriving, thriving. And, and shout out to the Sebastian, Sebastian Collector. collector. You're so beautiful. Work. Look at you go. We love you, Keep bestie. Going. Keep serving. You're, um, you arrived correct. We will see you guys next time for more and more tea. Honestly, and it's going to be hot. Hot Love you all. Bye. Bye.